Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, we're going to compare Blade version 9 with what I may deem as the worst blade ever. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so version 9 is out. It's been very, very popular. It's been doing very, very well on the market. Um, we're talking 16 by 19 version. Um, and somebody brought me a countervail version. Version 6. Version 6 to be clear. But version 6 with countervail. There was a version 6 without countervail too. Why did they do that? Yeah. Okay. Thought so. Um, anyways. Um, hi, coach. Um, hey, Harry. So, so we got countervail in the house. I mean, whenever I mention countervail, they say countervail condom because it takes your feel away. Can I say that? I'm not sure, but whatever. Uh, let's just say shock absorber shock dampener built into the handle just or built into the racket just in case okay so it's like kind of an anti-feel racket um, just to be clear do you remember countervail i do okay uh do you remember liking or disliking countervail i don't think i used i think i don't remember having a pro staff and a countervail they did make one yeah, i didn't have it okay <laughs> Did you, did you hear people complain? I mean, did you hear people asking about countervail or saying stuff about countervail? Um, a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. Negatively or positively? Um, some people like the, the less feel in terms of the more absorption. Mm -hmm. You know, if you had a tennis arm or elbow or you were, you know, struggling um, with too much vibration. Yep. They kind of enjoyed the the more thud feel. Yep. They didn't have to use a dampener and all that stuff. Right. Um, but then people that enjoyed the feel of the ball were not as big of fans of the countervail. And then that's why they went to the standard okay. one. I get it. So that's why I have Coach Rob doing this. Because if I had any other coaches doing this, they're like, oh, no, no, no. immediate negative uh, feelings about countervail. So Mr. Rogers here isn't going to say anything bad about Wilson. And, uh, well, <laughs> I was pointing out both sides. Exactly. That's right? why I had you doing this. Okay. Okay. All right. So, but let's, let's see if, you know, it's been a long time since I hit with anything countervail. So let's, right. let's try it and, uh, see if it's as bad as people say. Okay. Okay. All right, just got off the court. Coach Rob, if you were going to choose a blade to play with, yep. which one would you choose? Oh, why? Uh, I like the feel that this produces. I like to feel the ball coming off the strings. Um, it, I, I just could sense, had a much better sense and feel of my shot, of where it was going and how it was uh, reacting to the racket. So you don't use a dampener, neither no. do I. Did you feel that this dampened the ball? Yes. On a scale of one, one to, to ten, ten, this meaning you, you get full feel, right? Yes. 
how much did this dampen on a scale of one to ten? I would be down around like a three. Okay. Well, at least it doesn't deaden the whole thing. I mean, it was pretty dead, but... Okay. Okay. You know. All right, so I'm going to let you hold this for a second. I, I know you like the other one more. I got something printed up that, um, that was on Wilson's website when the racket came out that talks about countervail. Okay, countervail maximizes energy, reduces fatigue, and increases shot control. Countervail is an all-new patented material integrated exclusively into Wilson frames that directs the ball's energy into the frame instead of the body. Proven in aerospace and the Tour de France, the aerospace industry uses countervail to increase energy efficiency during movement in extreme conditions, while Tour de France winning bicycles have it, have in, have it in their frames to help cyclists conserve energy during the most brutal stages. I also remember that not only did they have it in the blade, they had it in my burn uh, 100s, and they also had it in some pro staffs. Um, I just have a question, and you don't have to answer this question. Um, how does a bike have to do with um, a tennis racket? I mean, you're sitting on the damn bike, so you're basically protecting yourself from the vibration of the bumps, right? And you don't actually strike the floor or anything with a bike, you know? It's just like you know, having a little shock absorption for your butt. Right? How does that? If you say so. <laughs> how does that like correlate with a with a tennis racket? Yeah, a bike and a tennis racket. I know it's carbon, maybe, but I don't know. Am I wrong? You said I didn't have to answer, so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. I don't understand how a bike vibration has to do with a tennis racket vibration. It's different. You want anti-vibration when you're sitting on it. Like if I'm sitting on this racket and I'm going down like a rocky road, of course I want it to, you know, take the shock from me, right? But if I'm striking a ball and I want, I want feel, right? I, I guess, I guess it's good if you are wanting not to feel the ball and wanting not to have tennis elbow, possibly. Correct. You need something that's absorbing shock that's giving you a, um, you know, like it says, it's trying to absorb the power or the shock, I should say, before it gets into your body. Right, right. And that it does. That it does. Definitely. But, but, but for the purists, you're taking away feel. You know, it, it's, for those of you who use dampeners and, and you use the snake and then you put like 10 more down below and, and you, you don't feel nothing. It's countervails for you guys, okay? Maybe you could use one less dampener and do nine instead of 10, okay? I, uh, I don't think they make countervail <laughs> anymore. Oh. No, they do, they do. In Coach Chris's racket, they still have CV on it. It's the Nishikori oh, really? racket. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure you can find them somewhere. They're, they're still around somewhere. But um, out of all the blades you've ever tried, would this be the worst one? I would not pick that one as one of the ones I would want to use. Okay. Very politically correct answer in this pol um, politics year or political year as we are. Stick to tennis, Harry. <laughs> as we are going to be having a new president this year, maybe, or, or keeping the same. Either way. No, I'm not talking about that. But okay. So you wouldn't choose it. I would probably say this would be the worst because I know all nine generations and um, they're all good except for this one. And I'm not saying it's really bad. It's just not as good as the rest. Okay. All right. Thank you for being uh, my Mr. Rogers all the time, Coach. Sure. All right. He, he won't say it, but we all know. Okay. Read between the lines. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. What are you doing? Hey coach, I'm ricing. I hurt my ankle. So rice? Ricing. Ricing? Ricing. You mean rest, icing, 
compression and elevation. Rice, 